come up here and cry today. <laughs> but um, just so you know, I know most of you know what goes on at the Women's Resource Center. It's a, um, we deal with the crisis pregnancies and stuff. But I want you to stop and think just for a minute about what actually what happened here today. I mean, the joy that came in this room for someone to show up that you weren't expecting, right? You weren't expecting her to be here. At the Women's Resource Center, there are women that walk through those doors that are expecting something, but it's not a joy to them. They are in a situation where they don't know you know, what's going to happen next, and they don't know how to deal with the unexpected thing that is coming, and they don't know that that joy can be as great as it is whenever they show up unexpected like that. They don't understand that joy. A lot of women here may be dealing with the fact that maybe it was your plan to have children, but God never gave you children for yourself to have. Well, you know, we are there for all women. You can always help other women that are in those circumstances, and you can be a mother to children, as Pastor Bill said, you know, and when he brought it up, I thought he was actually going to say all women here are mothers because they have to deal with Bill. <laughs> catch up. I've been paying for years. <laughs> you won't know when, you won't know where. I know. But one of the great things that is going on at the center, there are abundance of new things that are going on. There's new classes that are going on. They have a new store. It's a value store. Um, it's kind of like a, a second hand store, but they have some really nice things in there. And it's located at the center on West Charleston. Um, if you know where all the construction's been going on from 15 in Charleston, it's right close to 15 in Charleston. You can't miss that. Um, but you should go by and check out the store. That's one of the great things. Another thing that has been going on, when I came here a few years ago, we talked about the license plate, being able to get Values Life's license plates in Nevada. And praise God, we were able to get them. They're, um, if you haven't seen them, this is a picture of them, and there'll be one of these in your baby bottle that you can take home. But we're in a deep, kind of serious trouble here with this. We have until the end of September to have 3,000 of these sold or they go away. We won't get to keep them if we don't have 3,000 at the end of September. The money that goes in from these, it's, it's attached to, you've added on to what you pay for your normal registration. Normally it's $35 a year that gets added on to your registration and that $35 goes to the Women's Resource Center to help them continue their work. But we will lose all of this if we don't have 3,000 of these done by the end of September. So it's really simple. You don't have to wait for your car registration to come up. You can go down at any time. You don't have to pay your new registration or a prorated amount. You go down and tell them that you want to trade license plates. You take your old plates in. The first initial time is $65. Um, that's what you'll have to pay the first time. And then it's $35 that'll get added on after that each year. And that money will go to the Women's Resource Center. So if you haven't gotten one of these yet, and you would be interested in getting one, you can also go to NevadaValuesLife.com um, and they get all the information on how to do that there as well. And in the meantime, if you don't have a car or if you don't have, you know, um, able to get the license plates, then you can take a baby bubble home, as Pastor Bill said. But one of the big things is if you hang on to this, because they want it back on June 16th, this one thing wants you to bring it back. If you hang on to this to pretty close to that time, and during that time, set it somewhere where you do your quiet time, or where you're going to see it, where you put your makeup on, whatever it is. And just as a reminder to pray for the people at the center, this is a major battlefield. And especially lately, I'm sure you've heard all the news about what's going on in New York and just everywhere. It's just horrid. It makes my stomach turn every time I think about it. But prayer can defeat all of it and God can take care of all of it. So put this somewhere to remind you to pray. And then whenever God lays on your heart to put in here, put that money in here and bring it back and it will be credited to your church as a donation for the center. So thank you for allowing me to come and share today. And thank you, Pastor Bill. I do love you. And I love you too, family. But I'll still get you back. We may not even do a sermon today by the time we get through all of our... Well, we're going to announce here in just a minute uh, the Four Seasons Mother of 2019. But we're going to start with a poem from Ron. So Ron's got a Mother's Day poem. Yeah, come on up and... 
Ron and his lovely wife. They then I hope she's getting the uh -oh. Okay. But it came from the Lord, so that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First, first of all, I have to remind us all that when we were born, when we came out, we were given a little slap just to make sure that we were alive. We didn't respond, and that there was something wrong. So that's the way that it starts. So here we go. Life started with a pat on the rump, which was given to produce a cry. Later on in life, we were given the same, if ever we told a lie. Now this was known as discipline, of which we were not fond, but it was given in love from God above, through our mother, and that formed a bond. We knew we could always count on her to protect us from all harm. When Dad wanted to do the paddling, she'd sometimes grab his arm. It's not that we didn't deserve it when he wanted to make our seats glow, it's simply that when she spanked us, it sort of seemed a softer blow. Now a mother's love can be sadly abused when by her unthinking children she's used. But this doesn't deter her from giving her all each and every time they call. Now the world is changing in frightful ways. The contemptuous term is modern days. Some unbelievers think it's great to have various races so they can hate. Some women now consider it wise to have the option that their unborn dies. Others, many others, have been shown his life and their babies are born because he deemed it right. Now for those who may have made a mistake, God places little guilt because he's not a fake. He is genuine with the utmost concern that whatever he teaches, we will learn. So please remember for all who are here, that your mother held life as very, very dear. Yeah. And now, uh, unbeknownst to Bill, we got a second short poem here, because this, uh, when Linda told me about it, I said, oh, I, I'll never be able to find that. And when I went in another room and pulled out a bunch of papers, I just said, Lord, if this is here, it's only because of you, because I don't know it. And then I brought this paper in to Linda in the bedroom, and she said, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Mom. You carried me when I weighed nothing and did not interfere in all, at all in your life. You carried me when I weighed but a little and had little to contribute in way of your strife. You carried me when I made you look bigger and caused your clothes to be a larger size. You carried me when I made you uncomfortable and you began to wonder if your decision was wise. <clears throat> you carried me when I became a burden and yet thought of me as your bundle of joy. You carried me when you were sick each morning and had no idea if I was a girl or a boy. You carried me when you couldn't get up, and tying your shoes was an impossible chore. You carried me when you felt you might burst, and you were somewhat embarrassed to squeeze through a door. <laughs> you carried me until your pain said it's time, and you were reluctant but relieved that I would come forth. You carried me until I did burst forth, and by a slap of a hand, gave the world my first shout. The old bee doctors, I met them. They met a couple, and they put this in his, their office. They liked it so well. Thank you, Ron. I can't think of a nicer way to celebrate Mother's Day.